Welcome back to Book Break. Today I'm talking about the thrillers that I would love to see as TV shows. So I've picked 11 books and mega excitingly some of these actually are already being turned into TV shows so I'm so excited to watch those. But I've picked a total of 11, all of them with just fantastic plots and I can imagine would be so visual and so binge watchable. So please production companies listen carefully. So the first book I've picked is The Daughter by Michelle Francis. This one would make such a good TV show. It's got serious Erin Brockovich vibes in that it's about a woman who is not a trained lawyer but uncovers a conspiracy and stands up to a sinister corporation and it's actually based on a real agrochemical case in California that happened in 2018 so a TV show would be amazing to shine a light on issues like this that are actually happening in the world today. And if you've read Michelle Francis's last two books this one is a little bit different in that it is more issue-led and actually more moving but it's still got the seriously action-packed plot that you loved of the last two. Then A Nearly Normal Family by M.T. Edvardson. So this is about a seemingly normal family until one day their teenage daughter is accused of a murder. So it's a very domestic drama, good for Big Little Lies fans, all about the discontent hidden between the lines of this seemingly normal nuclear suburban family. I absolutely love that stuff. And I think it would work so well as a TV show. The book has this really interesting three-part format where we hear one at a time from the three different perspectives of the members of the family. So I can see this as a three-part TV series where we see the story through different eyes each night. Now The Neighbour by Fiona Cummins, I'm picturing this as a kind of five-part whodunit. So this is about a family who move into this close community in Essex where there has recently been a spate of murders. And so we see one by one a glimpse into the lives of all of the neighbours in this community, one of whom we know must be the murderer. And each of them have a lot of dysfunction going on behind closed doors, again it's all about finding the menace in the everyday and it would be such tense viewing because you really do suspect each neighbour one by one and don't know who to trust. Now my next one, Recursion by Blake Crouch, this is a really high concept thriller that has already been optioned for TV and I can see why because it's going to make such exciting viewing. So this is about an epidemic that starts to sweep across America where people are waking up to totally different lives than the ones they remember falling asleep to. So they remember whole lives, families, jobs, children that when they wake up don't exist anymore. So it's kind of Vanilla Sky meets Jason Bourne. Shonda Rhimes is adapting it, so we know the TV show is in good hands. And this book is actually the follow-up to Dark Matter, so if you want to get caught up before the show comes out, make sure you read them both. One of my favourite shows of the last few years was the show Unreal, if anybody saw that, which was this fictional behind-the-scenes on a reality TV show. So I'm picturing The Favourite Sister by Jessica Knoll as being the next in that vein. So this book is about two sisters who star on a feminist reality show and it claims to be feminist in that it's about strong business women and their careers but the show is actually just as much about pitting women against each other as ever. And the book actually reads like watching a reality show which is really fun and I can picture that working so well as a TV show so every time you hear each perspective of a member of the cast you could see it on screen as the talking heads that you see in reality shows and slowly you piece together all the different pieces of the drama that led to season four of this show ending in murder. So that was my first thriller about sisters. If you've been watching Book Break for a while, you'll know I've got a bit of a weak spot for thrillers about sisters. So I have put another one onto the list. This is The Missing Girl by Jenny Quintana. So this is about a woman named Anna who was just a child when her older teenage sister went missing. And she was absolutely devastated and eventually moved out of her home, moved abroad, started a whole new life. Now the book is set 30 years into the future when Anna's mother has just died. So Anna has had to come back to the family home and sort through all of her mother's possessions. But in doing so, she uncovers some clues about what might actually have happened to her sister. So this is absolutely the kind of psychological thriller I can imagine being hooked on on TV. Now another really topical one Girl in the Rearview Mirror by Kelsey Ray Dimberg. So this is about a woman who starts working as a nanny for a very high profile US political family and she gets really sucked into their very very privileged world until one day a woman starts following her threatening to expose a secret that could ruin the whole family. 
And of course, this being a thriller, our main character also has a dark secret of her own. So there are just so many layers here for her to get sucked into. And I just think this feels really of the moment. There isn't anything quite like it on TV at the moment, but all about power and privilege in America, that's exactly the kind of show I want to be watching right now. And another one that is already coming to TV is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekkanen. And this TV show is being made by the same people who made Sharp Objects. So I'm really intrigued to see what they do with this. So this story is about a woman named Jessica who signs up to this mysterious psychological study where all she has to do is answer some rather personal questions about herself in order to make money. But then the doctor running the study starts to get more and more involved in Jessica's life, to the point of telling her what to wear and where to go and who to meet. But by the time Jessica realises that she's in too deep, she's already told the doctor her deepest, darkest secrets. So this is a story of obsession and blackmail, and it's going to make really tense TV. Now my next one, As Long As We Both Shall Live by Joanne Chaney, this one has actually had the film rights optioned, and it is going to make such a good movie. But I'm including it in this list anyway, because it would also make really Really good TV show. I can imagine so many cliffhangers at the end of each episode. So this is about a man named Matt whose wife goes missing, presumed dead, in a tragic hiking accident. Or at least it seems like an accident, until the police uncover that Matt's first wife also died in very mysterious circumstances. And this is a very Gone Girl inspired book, it even references Gone Girl in it, but that doesn't mean you've guessed the twist. It takes it to a whole new level. There are so many twists and turns in this, and so many fantastically creepy, unlikable characters. I cannot wait to see this one on the big screen. This next one also has had the film rights optioned. This is The Trap by Melanie Rabe, and this is another thriller about sisters, so I couldn't resist putting it on the list. So this one is set 12 years after our main character Linda's sister was murdered, and the killer was never caught, but Linda saw his face. And now, 12 years later, she's just recognised that face again, but this time on TV. He has gone on to become a very well-known reporter, and so Linda, who is a quite famously reclusive novelist, knows that if she suddenly came forward and accused him of this murder, nobody would believe her. So what she decides to do is write her next thriller novel all about this story. And when it's published and very successful, she agrees to give only one media interview and I think you can guess who she gives it to. And finally, one more that's getting a film adaptation. This one's going to be a Netflix original starring Alicia Vikander. This is The Earthquake Bird by Susanna Jones. So this is about an English girl living in Japan who becomes the lead suspect in a murder case. And through the police interrogations, we get to learn her whole life story, including her very dark secrets from her past. So this is a real psychological suspense with a very, very interesting main character. And Alicia Vikander is going to be so good at playing this role. So I hope you got some good thriller reading inspiration from that. And if any production companies were listening, take note, this is what I want to see on my screen next. So do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment below with your favorite thrillers that you think would make really good TV shows shows, all the ones that have already been adapted and that you thought did a really good job. And of course, hit that subscribe button below for new videos every Thursday. Coming up next week, we're going to be talking about diverse classics and you will have a chance to win all the books I mentioned in that video, so definitely don't miss it. And in the meantime, if you want a behind the scenes look at Book Break, do go over and follow our Instagram at Book Break UK. See you next time.